So today is the day Baldur's Gate 3 launches, and I was going through the EULA, which I never do, but there was something at the top that caught my eye. I was going through the EULA, and as I went through it, first EULA I've actually wanted to read in 25 years, I have some concerns. Reading through, Section 5 says this. Five, additional obligations in Eldritch Law. Time for a pause, as we understand by now your mind is longing for respite, having endured the above numerous provisions of legal jargon. So, setting aside the weighty tomes of somber legality, embracing a lighter path of ancient customs and mystical degrees, de degrees, 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 that governed the fair folk, please be wary that in accepting this pact you agree to refrain from striking a deal with another creature of fey, infernal, or otherwise eldritch origin. Should you nonetheless not be able to withstand the seductive melody whispered by their malevolent terms, we, Larian, reserve the right to sever all ties, professional or social, with the end user and seek appropriate remedy from the Morning Lord. Fine. Section 15 says, which is choice of law and venue, says this in paragraph three in all caps to emphasize. Excluding section five of the pact, this pact shall be governed and construed in accordance with Irish law, exclusive of its choice of law and or conflicts of law jurisprudence. And the following paragraph, paragraph four, says... Excluding Section 5 of the Pact and without prejudice to any rights you have based on your personal jurisdiction and to the extent allowed by such jurisdiction, the exclusive venue for all litigation regarding or arising out of this Pact shall be Ireland. And you agree to submit the to the jurisdiction of the courts in Ireland for any such litigation. In any legal claim under this Pact, the side which wins will be entitled to its legal fees and expenses. So, the legal groundwork of the pact, the EULA, being laid, I have this question. What provisions of Irish law did Larian find so concerning that they specifically and explicitly excluded Section 5 from all of the other provisions choice of venue, uh, prejudice to rights, etc. What is so, what, what presents such an existential threat to Larian Games that all the rest of, of the legal provisions apply in Ireland, but there's something in Irish law that excludes the Eldritch Pact? 